All right, this meeting of the Hot 100 Club is in order. For those who don't know me, my name is William Board, but you can call me Bill. All right, let's get started. Uh, Kanye. All right, suck it, SJWs. Number one, still the king. Actually, no. We decided one week was enough for you, so you're down to number four. Wait, number four? That can't be right. Who knocked me off? I was just about to get to that. Ariana. Oh shit, did I get number one? Yes. And it's number one debut. Oh, sweet! So what about Yes And? How did that do? Number ten. All right, all right, got a little bookend action going in the top 10, that's cool. This album bomb is already paying off. So, anything else in the top 10? Nope. What? That, that doesn't sound right. I mean, I wasn't expecting a complete sweep or anything, but a a at least one or two more songs in the top 10? Well, you tied Drake for the most number ones in the decade. That's... something, I guess. And your 98-year-old mother is the oldest person to ever chart. Ah, some nice family love. And all the eligible songs from your album charted. What do you mean, eligible? Yeah, we had to disqualify the intro track because it's just too short. Aw, oh, come on, that's not fair. Hey, I don't make the rules, okay? I just simply fuck around with them whenever I feel like it. Okay, well... Still have the number one debut, so I'll take it. All right, we have Zach Bryan still hanging out at number nine. Beyonce is down to number five. Benson Boone's going up to number three. Uh, do I have four bats here? Here? Please be a drink boost. 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 You do indeed get a drink boost. All right! All the way up to number seven. Yay! Number seven? Huh? Hey, you shot up 58 spots. That's a big game. Yeah, but I was expecting number eight. Uh, why? Because it would be funny. The song's called Date at Eight. So, Date at Eight, number eight. Pretty funny. Yeah, but number seven is better. Literally, it's one better. Uh, that's cool. Maybe next week it'll go to number four. Go ahead, take it. I'll be back on top next week. Did y'all see that Rolling Loud show? Oh, you mean that show where it's nothing but you and Ty standing around saying nothing while the album plays from a tape? You really think that's gonna give you a boost? Hey, that was performance art, okay? No, I'm pretty sure it's just crap. Okay, can we move on, please? All right, so Flowers by Miley Cyrus is going out. Uh, Victoria Monet is also leaving. Wait, she's leaving? Aw, oh, come on, you couldn't let my BFF stick around for this? Oh, sorry, we don't deal in sentiments on the charts. Now, where is Teddy Swims? Here. All right, uh, we have Lose Control staying at number two this week. That's great. What about the iTunes chart? Ah, good question. You're number one on iTunes. Oh, right. In fact, all nine versions of Lose Control made the top ten. Wait, 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 hold up, back a second. You made nine versions of Lose Control. Yeah? Okay. Why did you make nine versions of Lose Control? Because the show was wrong. Eight isn't enough. What? Nobody remembers eight is enough? Ran for five seasons? Start Dick Van Patten? Oh, you guys are missing out! No, I don't think I am. Anyway, uh... Taylor Swift, what are you doing? We're not supposed to see you until your album drops in April. Oh, I know. I just wanted to see how my songs are doing. Uh, okay, uh, is it over now at 27 and Cruel Summer at 13? Hmm, yes. Lucky number 13. Okay, Taylor, I don't mind if you sit in on our meetings, but can you please stop munching on potato chips? 
really noisy and you're doing it in a way that's making me feel uncomfortable. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, hi, uh, Jack Harlow here. Uh, is Lovin' On Me got a chance at coming back to number one next week? All right, so since we don't have any more questions or concerns, thank you all for coming. Enjoy your new numbers.